My name is Maria. My name is Sabrina. We are in Kingston at the Village Green Community Center. We're the proud owners of Argensal. The people in Kingston are more like family, so they do ask about the personal stuff. How's your dog? And you know, like they know us more like family. We started Argensal in 2019, right before the pandemic. So Argensal is a, a combination of two words, Argentina and El Salvador. So we built our friendship and then we just started talking every day about our dream that we had. And honestly, we hadn't heard of pop-ups. I just knew about that from uh, Instagram. We just saw a gap and just thought we could fill it. We started doing pop-ups in Kingston too, at Downpour and stuff like that. I've seen my parents have businesses my whole life in El Salvador and here and they're just a big inspiration and when people ask me what do you want to be when you grow up I always answered I want to be a business owner. My story is a little different when growing up my mom always teach me how to cook and she's like Sabrina can you help me do this and then when I came to the States I work in a bed and breakfast in Mississippi and I start in the kitchen and the lady teach me how to do everything like southern food and I never went to school but I love to cook so we moved here in 2017 and that's when I met Maria and then always talk about food and cook and do this and do that. I definitely remember going into it that it was going to be a big learning curve for us because our first job was to educate you know, because it was cuisine that not a lot of people have heard of. And for me, it was a learning experience because it wasn't until we started the business that I started cooking my own food. So learning how to make tamales for my aunt, that was really special. But through trial and error, I have, I would say I've mastered it. I've made a lot of them <laughs> by now. Literally everything is homemade. And not only that, but there is so much love that goes into each individual component. There's just so much comfort in just having someone that comes from a similar background. The, the flavor to take you back to if you've been in Argentina or Salvador, it takes you back to our country. And I think that's our purpose. Just through the food, just get a little bit of our country, our culture. So I think our food is very complementary to each other. Then there are people that put, you know, chimichurri on the pupusa and then curtido on the empanada. And it's just, everything goes. Even if different cultures, we always have our, each other's back. And then she's, yeah. like I said, she's my sister. So. Something that brought us together was definitely the fact that we're both Latinas. You know, I think since day one, it's been a family-owned business. We were friends, but we were always family. So one of our most frequently asked questions is, how can you tell the empanadas from each other when you can't see the filling? And we have a little trick that is very commonly used in Argentina, and it is in the way that you crimp the empanadas. Make sure that you put your filling in the middle of the dough. Close it with a little bit of water, and then we're just gonna do, this is the traditional beef in Argentina. Let's work on maybe the spinach one. And remember, always get wet the dough so it doesn't open when you fry or put it in the oven. This one is gonna be a fork. Do you wanna do it with the fork? Yep. Another slow, you can always press and make sure it's fully closed so it doesn't open when you cook. It looks like the same, but it's uh, laying down. It's like a dumpling. This is for the caprese. This is the new one, it's kind of tricky. You have to press it in there. And here we go. That's all the different ones that we have. So 
whether it be savory or sweet, if you ever find yourself in a pinch, the crimping is a great way that you can differentiate your empanadas or hand pies or any pastry that you like. And I think that just like how people find the love of their life, I feel like I think we've found something special, I think, to that extent. I think it's just a partnership that was meant to be and that means the world to us. Made There is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you and visit Kitsap Peninsula. Thank you to Made There's supporting sponsor, the Greater Kitsap Chamber.